Hello. Um, today we are a bit earlier than the two days before because I got up earlier as well. <laughs> um, so in the morning I finished reading, um, not I finished reading, but I, I again read about um, Cyprus history. So just to be really, really short again about this, I tried to be short. Um, so we, we got until maybe 55, 1955 last time, last episode. <laughs> Um, and so, um, in 1958 there was the Macmillan Plan, which was basically the idea um, of having a British governor and then two houses of representation, uh, one Turkish and one Greek, Cyprus Greek, Cyprus Turkish, um, but it didn't really work and there were uprisings. Um, and then, and then in the, like 1960 actually, uh, the, the long period of, of uh, Cyprus being a British colony actually ended. Um, and in '59 there was a constitution agreed, the agreement, the Zurich Agreement. So it was, it happened in Zurich, and there was the Lausanne Treaty as well. So oh, Switzerland. Um, and the Zurich Agreement said that there is a Greek president and the Turkish vice president, and both of them they have the veto right. Um, they also said that Turkey, uh, that, that Cyprus will be an independent state, and they prohibited the, uh, they prohibited Enosis and Taksim. Taksim was like the, the the Turkish demand for partition of the island, and then also um, they agreed that the UK should have should still have military bases. So in 1960, the independence of Cyprus was gained, and the Archbishop Makarios uh, was made president. Um, 61, Cyprus became a member of the UN um, and then in the following years uh, there were like uprisings and basically the Greeks were not really happy about have the Turkish having 30% uh, of rep representation in the government as they were only, they made only, they were like only 18% of the population I think. So. Um, in 64, the UN intervened. There was a UN intervention um, officially to protect Turkish, the, the Turkish Cypriots, um, who were not really recognized uh, by the Brit by the Greek government because they they had been pulled like pushed out the government uh, slowly. Um, and then, like uprisings followed, blah blah blah. And in 74, there was the uh, coup d'état um, ordered by Dimitris Ioannonidis. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, um, which was a leading figure of the Greek junta, and um, and then in the following, uh, Makarino, Makarios was replaced uh, by Samson, the new president, who supported, I think, um, Enosis much more. Um, and then uh, in uh, and then the Turkish uh, invaded the country as well and took uh, control of 38% of the island and that's when the British, a British general, he, he draw this green line through the whole country which is today known as the buffer zone and since then the UN peacekeeping forces control this green line um, which is crazy I think, you know, like <laughs> it's, it feels crazy at least when you go there um, in 2004, uh, Cyprus joined the EU and the, this buffer zone was partly opened, but it's still not really open. Like, uh, you can cross, I mean, I can cross because I have a Swiss passport, obviously, but um, I'm like, it still feels like people they don't really cross, and there were, um, there were more like um, attempts to to find a solution and like the newest one I think is in 2014 which is a, a joint declaration uh, between the two presidents uh, of Turkish Cyprus and Greek Cyprus but there hasn't really been like a solution still. Um, yeah, it just upsets me somehow like how can something like this happen? How can like a general, you know, like how can someone draw a green line on the paper and affect so many people and so many bodies like physical physically affect people not being able to cross I mean it happens all the time I know it's just like if you see it like this it, it's 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 kind of crazy um, I went so let's start so um, in the in the afternoon I met George he is um, 
He also teaches at the univer at European University, I think, and he's a clarinet player. He's very like he's playing a lot and he's teaching a lot. And um, I asked him to give me guitar, so he will probably organize guitar for me. Um, and so he, I basically talked to him about my projects here, and he said that it will be hard to teach, uh, or actually to find people who want to be taught by me because it's July and it's a bit dead. Like there is summer school at universities, but um, school is out. Uh, like people are on the beach; it's too hot. Um, so probably I won't give workshops but um, I will have a performance and we were discussing different venues and spaces where to perform so one of the spaces he said might be possible who knows is like this home for cooperation it's called it's a cultural center um, situated on the buffer zone in Nicosia so on the green line um, and they might have a space and he might have like students who are interested in com coming to see whatever I will make, you know. <laughs> but I talked to him basically about um, how I'm interested in how sound is connected to a territory or like actually how also a, a territory is colonized by sound maybe. And um, so I then went to this home for cooperation on the buffer zone and so I, I haven't crossed the green line yet, but today I, I stood on it at least. Well, the, in the past two days I, I had just um, I had just like stood in front of it on the Greek side, Greek sacred side. So yeah, I went to the buffer zone and it's really strange. Like it was calm, uh, there was some wind, there was some Middle Eastern or Turkish music from far away from Upper Hill like blowing down and some cars passing but there was basically no one and then I walked on the buffer zone to this cultural center and I I, I had a drink and I, I mean I drank pomegranate juice and I also talked to the to the responsible person and they it turns out they actually organize a fringe festival next autumn so anyway I asked them um, about everything and I'm probably m going to attend a symposium tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is what happened and it, <laughs> I feel like, I feel as if I have already been here for weeks actually, but I guess it's just because so much happening in my mind. <laughs> okay, have a good evening.